And you certainly don't have to live in that neighborhood to be worried about safety tonight. Even in your own home, you're at risk. That's right. You assume locking your doors keeps intruders out. But we have learned that even amateur thieves can now crack that lock in just seconds. Sean O'Shea is live in Pickering tonight with a new out news hour exclusive. And Sean, you're fo focusing on a new trend among burglars. It's called lock bumping. Yeah, Leslie, uh, good evening. Uh, the average person probably hasn't heard the term lock bumping, but the average criminal uh, probably has. Now, the fact is, uh, bad guys uh, are, are familiar with this technique. We're in a residential neighborhood, a very quiet Pickering residential neighborhood, a place where people are sitting behind, in their, behind their closed doors thinking that they're safe. But are they really safe? Your home is your castle. Keeping it safe from intruders is a job that begins at the front door. It is the front line. Yes, it's the most important that you could use is a lock. But chances are your lock probably isn't up to the job and your safety could be at risk. Last year, Global News showed how a pro could pick a lock in a pinch, get into the average house in a matter of a few seconds. But now there's another safety threat that's in the hands of any amateur who wants to get inside your home. It's available on the internet and uh, any, uh, any normal person can go on the internet and uh, look this up. Hi, my name is Tyler and I'm going to show you how to make and use a bump key. A bump the technique is called lock bumping. Lock. It's demonstrated in videos like this one online. This a bump key, when properly used, will open any lock that it fits into. As the videos explain, all you need is a file and a key from the same brand of lock on the door and you're in business. Meaning that with minimal effort and at virtually no cost, someone can make a key that will fit your front or back door, defeating the majority of locks on the market today. You take the file and file it down. The we follow the instructions online. It takes only a couple of minutes to file down the key. Once it's finished, I try to open a deadbolt lock that guards one of our global videotape libraries. It takes a little practice. I've never done this before. But after a little trying, the lock turns. Four seconds. I ask some staff members to try it too. Each one who works the lock has the same result. The key works time and again. All because the bump key we crudely create is able to defeat, but not actually damage the internal workings of the average lock. Now, lock bumping, as I said, not something that is brand new. The bad guys, the criminals, they've all known about this for a while. So have the locksmiths, but it's become popularized, especially because of the fact that you can learn how to do it on the Internet, and it is especially becoming a problem in the United States. Remember the story, the secure area at Global. We were able to get through there not once, but several times. But we wanted to find out, could we, in fact, do the same thing in a neighborhood? Because let's face it, it's a neighborhood where people expect to have safety. So we're in a few minutes, we're going to come back, and we're going to find out whether we can in fact bump a lock here in the residential neighborhood. Leslie, back to you. All right, Sean O'Shea, we'll see you live in Pickering in our next segment. Thank you, Sean. And welcome back. Well, tonight we are uncovering a new threat to your personal safety that gives even amateur thieves the power to break into your home. Mm -hmm. It's called lock bumping. Let's go back to Sean O'Shea live in Pickering now with details, and he's going to demonstrate ways to protect yourself. Sean. Well, good evening, guys. Again, a lock bumping, as we talked about earlier, basically it means taking a key like this one. We came to this neighborhood a bit earlier, found the manufacturer of the lock, got a blank key and cut it a certain way as you find on the Internet. It's going to take a hammer and a key, and I'm going to show you how it's done. You basically put it in, pull it out just a bit, give it a tap and a turn. Bang, we're in. It was probably three seconds, something like that. That is how easy it is. Now, we really think that it's important that people know about the fact six seconds. We think it's really important about the fact that to, for people to know that that's how easy it could be for a bad guy to be able to get into your house. Now, how do we protect ourselves? That's probably the question that a lot of our viewers are wondering tonight. The way you protect yourself, it's all in the quality of the lock. We've got Jeff here from Pre-Lock Security Services. We don't want to leave this homeowner here in Pickering with a lock that is not proper, that is not going to be absolutely 100% safe. So we've hired Pre-Lock to come in, redo this lock with a very fancy lock that is going to be absolutely um, not bumpable because this is something that is a real concern. It's become more of a concern, especially in the United States, with break-ins. Not a huge concern up here as yet, according to police authorities, but it's something we wanted our viewers to know about. And tomorrow we're going to tell you exactly what you could do to protect yourselves. All right, Sean O'Shea, live in Pickering. Lots to think about tonight. We look forward to the follow-up tomorrow. Thank you, Sean. Well, a sinkhole.